Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome to Internet Philosopher with another mind-blowing video. And today the topic is the corona and the marketing of fear. Imagine you are in your home doing your regular thing, you know, and then suddenly you feel like uh, watching TV and switch on the TV. And at the very moment, a journalist pops up and tries to scare you through the statistic from the COVID-19 scene and saying some feverish like lockdown can happen at any moment. And now you're scared. And now what would you do? You definitely would directly go to the shopping mall to buy the item that you think you will need but never really want it. So you end up buying some stuff that is not much related to your regular shopping because you are scared just like everybody else. You're just like most Americans buying toilet paper at the start of this pandemic and hoarding it. It, it costs panic buying. And who is earning profit from it? Those very people who are driving this crazy idea of making us going nuts by bombarding the information of which we barely need and makes you scared. Bingo! Now you are in constant fear. You know, there's a company, a big business house actually, who plays a very important role of propagating the famous zombie apocalypse. You can google it down and you can find about themselves. And they are making millions out of it by selling zombie apocalypse related product. Because you will spend your hard earned money only if you don't think properly. And how is it gonna happen? By making you a fool with the help of internet and giant media house and all of that marketing shit. Do you know that pharmaceuticals companies are spending more money on marketing than R&D? R&D is equal to research and development. Why? Ask yourself. Because they won't make money if they cure the disease. They will sell you the pills. Needless to say that uh, the pig pharma isn't interested in curing you. It's interested in keeping you sick and swallowing its pills. Let's come back to the main topic of the pandemic. Let me break a few minutes. Yeah, I agree it's a damn pandemic. We should be more cautious about it than trembling in fear. Plus, so, do you know what's the death ratio of COVID-19? I guess maybe 2% or less. In my state, the death ratio till now is not accurate, but it's below 1% or maybe 0.18% or less up till now. Globally, uh, up till now at the time of making this video, corona infected uh, at least 9.3 million and recovered 4.72 million. And that is only 481,000. Okay, now you will, you will tell me that Nick, 481,000 is a huge number. Okay, I get it. But let's forget all of this and think that uh, there's no pandemic at all. You are, tr you know, you are, you are fine. You were just driving your car and you, you know, you were the watch. You were the way you're going to your home and you just, you just see an accident. What you would do? You would, you would be like, oh, poor soul. I hope they are fine and drive your way home. But do you know how many people died because of road accident in the world every year? Yes, 1.35 million people. So now I guess you are a bit uh, convinced like yeah that's 481,000 is, uh, is not bad in compared to the road accident. Okay I will shoot few more bullets. You know how many people perished during World War II? Any idea? Guess any number. But in, it should be in million. 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 30, 40. It's 70 to 85 million people. And maybe much more. Which was about 3% of worldwide population back in 1940. So do you know that the Black Plague that uh, used to have a higher death ratio than this COVID-19 or Corona? It killed almost 30 to 60 percent of the entire Europe population from, a four, from 475 million to 350 to 375 million in 1400 century. I guess now you are a bit comfortable, right? So be cautious, but don't panic. Panicking, panicking won't help in and, and it will you know it will lead you to doing some stupid stuff which can cost you 
your hard and money trust me be smart be cautious wear a mask keep your sanitizer in your pocket maintain social distance while outing while you are in out now that's it don't let your fear to be the profit of some multi-million dollar profit company but i know you can do it we will do it together as one trust me this is not that bad when compared to the previous catastrophic event that happened stay safe stay happy so what do you think about this covid 19 or coronavirus situation please leave your valuable comment down there i would love to read and if you like this video please give your patronage by pressing the subscribe button and share it nick is out have a great day y'all bye bye